Hello everyone, this is Tutu Mora with the Y, bringing you tools to feel well in your body, mind, and spirit. So today we're going through part two of our IT band stretch series. And for the majority you won't need any props and I'm gonna include an optional foam roller stretch um, at the end. So if you do have a foam roller, um, then that'll be for you. If you don't, I have not yet thought of a home product that will substitute for it. So the first portion of this video is what you can use to relieve your symptoms. So all you're gonna need is a chair and I would invite you to put your chair on a yoga mat so that it is a firm, non-skid surface. Um, I would also recommend you choose a chair without wheels just so it does give you that security. Even more so if you can push it up against a wall. It never hurts to um, really make sure that that chair isn't going anywhere. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tilt my screen down where we're, we're gonna be using this chair right here. And so the height may be a little bit different, but that's, uh, that's okay. So once you've set up your chair here, we're gonna step back out. If you've got long legs like I do, you're gonna to wanna to step back out even more than you may think. And you're gonna to wanna to have your feet, I'm stepping a little closer so you can see them, you're gonna to wanna to have your feet parallel. And so it can be really easy to kind of turn your foot out through this exercise, but as you're able, and you might not be able to keep it completely parallel, but see if you can just invite in that little extra awareness. So, we're gonna start here on the left side. So stabilizing through the right. You're gonna find your right foot as parallel as possible. And you're gonna bring your left foot to the chair. So the first part of this, you can put your hands on your hips because your hips are gonna to wanna to be square facing the wall in front of you. And so it's gonna be very easy for you to wanna to sort of turn your hips a little bit um, to accommodate this stretch, but see if you can really allow yourself to have that square pelvis here. Even if it means that, you know, your leg turns out a little bit this way, see if you can find that square pelvis. And so the first thing we're gonna do is just take a gentle little lunge forward, allowing that hip flexor on the stabilizing side to get a little stretch. So finding that nice lunge, breathing into that, and then we're going to bring that leg straight, point through the toe here, keeping those hips square. We're gonna hinge at the hip. I want you to feel like you're filling out the tops of your back pants pockets as you hinge at the hip and breathe into this space. So breathe into that back pants pocket space. Breathe into that low back. And then we're gonna again take this forward into our little lunge. Breathing into that before then taking it once again back, hinging at the hip. Breathing to fill out this space. So you're hinging as if you're just filling out those back pants pockets. One more time, we're gonna hinge forward. This time as we do, we're gonna bring those arms straight up in the air, find a little reach through the back of the armpit, bringing those arms straight up, deep in that stretch, almost like your arms were going to come overhead and a little bit behind you, and then we're going to take that forward, again hinging at the hip, this time reaching forward with those fingertips as you hinge, reaching through the crown of your head, and then bringing yourself all the way back up. And so finding yourself on both your feet, take a couple steps around the room, feeling into how it feels on both sides, and it should feel a little bit off balance, but we're gonna balance you out. But just, it's good to feel into the difference after that kind of stretch. So now, our left side's gonna be the stabilizing side. And we're gonna bring our right foot to the chair. Hips square towards the wall in front of you. If you're able, invite that parallel foot into it, but that can be pretty tricky. So see if you can just find a balance. And then we're going to take that little lunge forward, reaching through that 
hip flexor. Breathing into that. And then taking it back, pointing that toe, hinging at the hip as you fill out those back pants pockets. Now on the side that you're experiencing that um, discomfort, this is gonna feel like quite a stretch because this is where um, that discomfort can originate in that hip and throughout the outside line of the leg. So be gentle with the stretch, allow your breath to help you. And then we'll take it forward again into that lunge. And pointing the toe, hinging at the hip, filling out that back pants pocket. And last time, coming into that lunge, this time the arms come up, find that little reach through the back of the armpit as those arms float up towards the ceiling and then as if they're coming back behind you. And then hinging at the hip as you straighten up that leg, point the toe, and then reaching forward. Crown of the head reaches forward, getting a nice little spine stretch in there before you bring it all the way back up. And then setting that foot back down on the floor. So now walking around, it should feel really uh, good and a lot looser through those hip spaces. And so it should feel like you've got a little bit more space for movement, especially down that outside line of the leg. So now, I'm gonna show you that optional foam roller stretch here. And so I'll have you grab your foam roller and the mat. And you're gonna lay down on your side with the foam roller underneath your legs. So, you're going to have to support yourself with your upper body here and with your heels. And your foam roller is just going to start massaging that whole outside line of the leg. So it'll feel a little awkward, but it'll feel really good when you get up. So let's do a couple more here. All right, so now let's take that over to the other side. So finding yourself on top of the roller, supporting yourself with your upper body here. And we'll take that little massage. Turn to for a couple days as this space starts to loosen itself up. And on the affected side, it might also just be a little bit tender. And so just feel into the amount of rolling that feels good for you. And then once again, when you're done, take a stand up and walk around. And it should feel even looser, like you've got a little bit more space and it's just a little bit comfortable to stand and walk around. So I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you back here next time on the YZ YouTube channel. I hope you take care.